In this video, we're going to be talking about how to get this free Dark Matter Malik Sealy card in NBA 2K22 My Team. And I'll be telling you guys if I think it's worth for you guys to go after. But to get this Dark Matter Malik Sealy, it is going to be the same as last Wednesday. You guys have to get this Sealy Triple Threat Online Event card. And you have to get this Sealy Triple Threat Event card as well. So you need two different exchange pieces. And the way to earn those exchange pieces, the first way is going to be through Triple Threat Online. As you guys can see at the top of the board, there is going to be the Malik Sealy Triple Threat Online Exchange. And if you guys get to the top board and you do land on that piece, that will be one of them completed. So I'm pretty sure the first one is going to be the online one. Yeah, so the one on the left, you guys can see the one I'm, hover I'm hovering over is going to be the one for online. But if you guys, you know, don't want to do that, or for example, if you don't get the if you don't get the piece, from playing triple that online there's a way to do it as well so if you come down to the malik sealy exchange you guys can see if you win 15 triple that online games you will get that piece anyway so if you can do it faster and you can land on the t2 online boards then obviously do that right if you only have to play i don't know nine games or ten games to get the piece that's obviously going to be a little bit faster so you want to play triple that online you want to try to get the piece as fast as possible but if you're kind of unlucky and you don't see it on your boards then all you have to do is win 15 triple that online games and it's going to be the exact same for offline right malik silly is in the vault so every time you win a game you have a chance to open the vault and you have a chance to get that piece now once again you might not get it you might play 50 games and you might not get the exchange piece so what 2k did was really nice and if you play 30 if you win 30 triple threat offline games you were going to get the piece anyway so the slowest way to do it but guarantees you the card is going to be win 30 triple threat offline games and win 15 uh, 15 triple threat online games but if you do get a little bit lucky in the vault, for example, and triple that offline, maybe you get really lucky and you can see the piece right away. Maybe in your first game, right? You play one triple that offline game and you get the piece. And then now you don't have to play 29 more games. And it's going to be the same for triple that online. Now we're going to hop over to 2KDB and we're going to check out the card stats, badges, and animations and tell you guys if I think it's worth playing for. Okay, guys. And now you can see on my screen, we are looking at the free Dark Matter Malik Sealy. He's going to be a shooting guard, small forward, six foot eight with a seven foot three wingspan. So that's a great height for the shooting guard and small forward position. He's going to have a 93 ball, 92 mid range, 95 speed, 95 acceleration. And he's got amazing defensive stats all around. 90 interior, 95 perimeter, 90 steel with an 86 block. He's going to have a 95 driving dunk, 90 ball handle with a 94 speed with ball. He's going to literally have 13 Hall of Fame defensive badges. I'm pretty sure that's 13, but he's got a lot of them anyways. He's got Hall of Fame quick first step, quick chain hyper drive handles for days. He's got Hall of Fame sniper, limitless spot up, corner specialist, and catch and shoot. So, so far, looking at these stats and the badges, Malik Sealy looks to be one of the best defensive cards in the game. And then you look at the animations. He has Ray Allen base, which we all know is a pretty solid base. It's going to be on very quick release timing with the normal leaner is really good. And then for dribble sticks, he's got the quick dribble style. He's got the Penny Hardaway size up, which is pretty decent. Not the best size up in the game, but it is decently solid. And then you look at the Kobe Bryant escape and he's got the Scotty Pippen behind the back. So overall for a lockdown defender he's going to be one of the best in the game and obviously he's going to be completely free so maybe i'll make a video talking about where he ranks or i'll probably have a shooting rank in the top 10 shooting guards tomorrow so you guys can see like where i rank him but just off the first looks of him he's going to be a top 10 shooting guard maybe even a top 10 small forward as well so i mean malik Sealy just looks like a better Kawhi leonard right i mean if you guys look at this Kawhi leonard He's basically going to be this card, but that can move on the offensive end, right? Because Kawhi is six foot seven, seven foot three wingspan. Their stats are going to be very similar, but the difference is Malik Sealy's got his jump shot on very quick release timing. He's got the normal leaner, and he has way, way, way better dribble six. So Malik Sealy is just a better Kawhi Leonard, and he's going to be completely free. Now, when we'll probably get invincible Kawhi Leonard very soon. So obviously that's not going to be the best quiet for the rest of the year but this malik silly for absolutely free is going to be amazing to add to anybody's squad so yes i do think it is definitely worth grinding for let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace